So today I'm replacing the gasket of my big green egg. And uh, as you can see, it's a little, has seen better days. So I gotta pull this off. Let me take the grill out at first. There we go. Yeah, so you can see here in the back is one of the stress areas for the gasket. So this thing just shrinks and then falls off. So just use a spatula to work your way around. The whole process takes about five minutes. That's all it really takes. So yeah, this comes right up. easy came right off all you want to do is scrape it as best you can this is still some adhesive left here so I'll get most of it off Okay, so from here I use a little bit of acetone on a cotton rack and get the rest of it off. I found it uh, works best with an old towel or something, cotton rag. Let's use some acetone. Just work your way around it. Get a new section. Yeah, I'll scrape it with usually one more time. Make sure all the old adhesive is off. Wipe this off one more time with acetone. And we should be ready for the new gasket. Yeah, so this is a gasket I'm using. And uh, I'm gonna leave links in the description for you. Uh, you will also need a high temperature silicone so when you pull the gasket out, you can see it has an inner liner on the back and it has an adhesive uh, film on it. And I use the adhesive film to just size the gasket. And you can see a couple months ago, I actually did the upper gasket already and it's, it's holding up great. So this is how I do it. Just give yourself some room and uh, pull the inner liner off. And start somewhere it doesn't matter where make sure you are not overlapping to the inside because a lot of times when you're working things in and out of the grill make sure you don't get snagged right here so I like to just have it flush with the inside and then my gasket just protrudes out towards the outside don't pull it too tight uh, you want this gasket to be slightly long, actually. So, yeah, just work your way around. Don't pull on it. Just size it just right.
a lot of you probably want to leave the seam in the back. Uh, I advise against it because this is a high stress area and having a compromised gasket back here just makes it wear so much faster and uh, that's usually the fail point of these gaskets in my experience at least. So on the lower gasket I, I put the seam somewhere but not all the way in the back you know choose a different spot for it. So run it all the way okay and then you know what you want to cut and just use scissors and uh, leave a little extra. Okay, next thing is you pull this guy back off. So now you have your size. Okay. Just try not to touch the adhesive portion of it. Then you take your, your height uh, temperature silicone. This says RTV. 650 so this is good for 650 fahrenheit okay this works a lot better without the nozzle i know i know it's probably too much but this is how it works for me so run a little bead around it i'm gonna have my seam over here so Put it on as best you can. It moves around a little bit, it'll be okay. The silicone gives it uh, good, uh, it's a good adhesive. So. It's nice and loose, don't pull on it. It'll shrink on its own. I try to reposition it one more time. So the way I close it, I put my spatula in here. Close it. So I just want to make sure the gasket stays in place. All done. Yeah, close your dome and leave it overnight. I think they recommend 24 hours, so that sounds about right. And then uh, you'll be all set five minute job yeah so it's 24 hours later let me see what this looks like yeah so here's your new gasket and uh, stayed in place pretty well again i have the seam on the side because the back here is a high stress area and the top one actually I have the seam up front here which is which is okay so the next thing I want to do is I want to adjust the lid because in my experience the lid always lowers itself somehow because the hinge mechanism back here is just, you know, it is what it is. So I have some spacers, let me show you. Okay, so what I have here, I have three pieces of uh, eighth inch aluminum flat bar. And again, I don't expect you to have it, but you know, you can use like a painter's stick or something you know that to shim it maybe a couple of coins or and anything really and uh when you first buy these grills they come with little spacer tools they are made of plastic and of course i can never find mine so let me put you on a tripod and uh, show you how this uh, gets adjusted yeah so here on the side of the lid is is an adjustment uh screw for the ring that that holds the lid in place and what I'm going to do is you just want to loosen this quite a bit. I'm also loosening the bottom one because the lid is, is simply too far down. Okay, nice and loose. You know, gravity just pulls these lids down. That's just the way it goes. So here we go. I like this better. Tighten everything back up and we should be, we should be okay. And of course you should use a real wrench and not an adjustable one like I'm using right now, but I'm at the cabin, that's all I have here. Try the bottom one one more time. It's pretty tight too. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Take my 
spacers out and see how it closes yep that's nice there we go this works a lot better let me bring you around here real quick My biggest concern always is the edge right here. So when the lid is too low, it just folds the gasket in and that's where your point of failure is. So in this case, I don't know if you can see it, but it, it has a nice gap in it. Yeah, look at this. And then as you lower it, you get a pretty good seal. So that's my method. Maybe you have a better one. All right, all done. See you guys on the next one.